Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. And as always, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. It keeps us motivated. Anyhow, in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and learn how to use uh, single a uh, single asterisk args and double asterisk keyword args in function calls. Yes, we're doing it in the reverse way that we just learned how to do uh, using them as parameters in a function header. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. Let's define a function names and we're going to go ahead and put three parameters in here A, B, and C. Alright, and we're just going to print A, print B, and we're doing this because this is a very simple function so we can see how it actually works. So let's go ahead and when we pass a single asterisk variable into a function call, we are um, we need to use a tuple or a list for this to work. So I'll show you what it looks like with a list and I'll show you what it looks like with a tuple. Uh, so let's go ahead and say users. There are users names we want to print. We're going to create a list and we're going to say Bill, comma, Scott, comma, Taylor. All right. So let's go ahead and hit return. And if we go names, all right, and then we use single asterisk users and close out our function call. There we go. Bill, Scott, and Taylor. Awesome. Cool. So what it did was instead of us unpacking this list that contains uh, values, it just went and put each value at each parameter up here. All right. <clears throat> now, we have to have the same number of arguments as we do parameters for this to work. So A is Bill, B is Scott, and C is Taylor. All right. Now, if I went and did, let's look at a scenario. If I didn't use the asterisks, what happens? If I do names and do users, we're going to get an error because we're only passing one uh, positional argument and B and C was not passed. All right. So the asterisk overrides this error. All right. Um, let's go ahead and look at it in the tuple real quick so you guys can see it actually works with the tuple as well. And we can do um, Bill. Uh, Scott. And Taylor. Like that. And then we just do names. Asterisk users. Return Bill Scott Taylor. All right, that works too. A tuple or a list it works with. Um, you know what I never tried? Does it work with a string? Let's find out. Names. Uh, hold on, let's create a string first. Uh, users. And we'll just do a string that contains three letters. Uh, her. And then we'll use names. Asterisk. Users. Uh, her. Yeah, that works. So it works with the string too. I never used it in that context because I don't really know why it would, but it works. All right. So what happens if we pass um, uh, more than three parameters? Did we look at that? No, we didn't. So if we again pass too many too many parameters. So let me uh, clear my screen. So say we did users is equal to, and we're going to use our string example here. Instead of putting her, we put here. Hit return and then we go names and then pass our, our asterisks and then users. Hit return up takes three positional arguments but four were given because we gave four different characters. So remember if we had we had A, B, C um, as our parameters and then H would be A, E would be B, and R would be C. And E has nothing to go to so we're getting an error. Same goes if you put too, too few um arguments. So keep that in mind when you're trying to use this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at keyword args now. So we'll create another function. So we'll say define function color and we'll do um, key mm, color underscore one color underscore two and color underscore three. All right. So now we're just going to print the color. So we'll say print <coughs> color <coughs> one. All right. 
print color two and print color three. <clears throat> So when we use single asterisk args, we, we know that the data is going to be put into either a string, a list, or a tuple. Now when we use keyword args, it has to be in a dictionary. So let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and say uh, a is equal to a dictionary. And we're just going to say uh, color one. And we'll say blue. And comma and color two uh, colon and we'll say what red red like that and we'll do color three and we'll do pink all right close out our dictionary and now we'll do color and double asterisk a return we get blue red pink all right um, now I don't see this is used as quite often as using um, the single asterisks I mean you don't see that often either in a um, function call now this is some like this whole thing I just showed you is something this is you know forgot about when you're programming and you end up unpacking all this stuff and then throwing it into the function because you always forget about it. now double asterisks <clears throat> In my mind that's probably the most rare case that you would use because if you have to go ahead and pull out um, and put the keys in for each value then you're most likely just gonna go ahead and pass them that way into the function call um, and then the single asterisk yeah that, that might be used more often but still it's rare so if you guys have any questions please let me know uh, Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like our videos.